He says, what does being cursed by Allah and the Prophet ﷺ mean? Does this mean there is no hope for that person? First of all, the scholars defined Allah's curse or in Arabic is known as Allah to be expelling someone from Allah's mercy. And this is only given to major sins. So when the Prophet ﷺ, for example, curses women who pluck their eyebrows or attachments and extensions to their hair or those who do tattoos, etc. This is from the Prophet ﷺ asking Allah Azza wa Jal to expel them from His mercy, which means that this is a major sin or these are major sins. So this is when the curse of Allah Azza wa Jal takes place and this only takes place over major sins. And this is why when scholars defined major sins, they said that it is any sin that Allah Azza wa Jal has cursed the one who does it among other uh, conditions. So one of the first conditions is to gain Allah's curse for doing such a sin. Now, having said that, humans may curse. So I may curse someone and this would not be as when Allah curses someone or when the Prophet curses someone. But when individuals curse others, this is swearing and cursing, not actual getting them or expelling them out of Allah's mercy because this type of curse is from a human to human. It's like dua. It may happen, it may not happen, but this is also something that is sinful in Islam for a Muslim to curse another Muslim. So the question of Salim, if someone was cursed by Allah, so for example, when Allah Azza wa Jal curses those who deal in riba or those who pay and receive bribes, does this mean that they are doomed and there's no hope for that person? The answer is no. All sins committed on earth, if a person repents before he dies and fulfills the conditions of repentance, Allah, the most forgiving, the most merciful, the one who repents will repent upon him and will accept his repentance. So all what you have to do is ask Allah for forgiveness, quit whatever you, you have been doing, feel remorseful, return whatever is for the people to the people that you have taken unlawfully and intend firmly within your heart not to do that sin again and inshallah you will be saved.